Playbook Media Group's Driven Women Awards at Caribbean Social in Brooklyn. This is my third year doing this um, Trailblazers Driven Awards and um, I came up with this idea because I feel like women in the entertainment industry is not recognized for their brand and what they do behind the scenes. Mr. Don Pittman presents New York City Shooter Ton 2018, New York's largest power shoot. It started off at four, then eight, then ten, wow. up to sixteen. Coconut shrimp with a chipotle dipping sauce with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson on this week's Inna the Kitchen. And you drop your shrimp in. Reggae and soul with powerful lyrics and feel good melodies. Meta and the Cornerstones at BB King. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. As managing partner of Playbook Media Group, celebrity publicist Marie Driven and her team and picked finalists from an impressive compilation of key industry players for the Driven Women Awards. For the third year in a row, Playbook Media Group celebrated Women's History Month with an event recognizing the accomplishments of female trailblazers, Driven Women. The event took place at Caribbean Social in Brooklyn. 2018 honorees included Abiola Abrams, motivational speaker and author for Essence magazine, Reshma B, music journalist, tastemaker, designer, mass appeal, BBC Radio, Complex, Sable Fields, senior video producer at Billboard magazine, Karina Pena, senior production coordinator at Viceland, and Adele Platon, editor, culture and content at Tidal. This is my third year doing this um, Trailblazers Driven Awards and um, I came up with this idea because I feel like women in the entertainment industry is not recognized for their brand and what they do behind the scenes and I felt like since these women are important to me that I wanted to, to let them know that I, you know, I appreciate their presence and I appreciate what they have been doing. A lot of them work late nights, you know, trying to meet deadlines can't even come out to an event sometimes <laughs> when I invite them because you know they're trying to give out their best to people and I feel like they are voices behind these big media outlets and I just wanted to let them know that we over here on this side Playbook Media Group we care for you and, and we believe in you and, and we appreciate the hard work that's it Good afternoon, guys. So tonight we're here giving out the Driven Awards to powerful women in the industry that does a lot of hard, amazing work and doesn't get recognized for it. So my company, Playbook, the Driven Awards, wanted to present certain women this year with um, amazing you know, award showcasing our appreciation to you guys. I am a senior producer for Billboard magazine um, and Marie reached out and she said that she wanted to honor a few women that were driven this year and um, you know, I didn't know how driven I was until <laughs> meeting these women and um, speaking about our different stories so um, <laughs> you know, sharing this experience today was really amazing. My name is Karina Pena. I work with Viceland Television Network. Um, I was chosen today by Marie, who was, um, who I worked with for almost a year now. And she has been very inspirational and has noticed the hard work that I do behind the scenes. It, Isn't it wonderful to be recognized? So wonderful. And do you like your job? I do, I do. We make a lot of impactful television. What mostly do you do? Um, I work in production, so I do production management, I'm behind the logistics and putting everything together, making magic happen. I actually work at Tidal as the editor of Culture and Content where I curate playlists. I also host a couple of shows on Tidal as well. One show is called Side Hustle. Um, another show is called Inside My DNA um, and In Conversation. So a lot of a lot of different shows for, uh, for Tidal. How excited did you feel about winning, being selected to win this award? Well, I've never actually won an award, so this is my first time, and the first time is always going to be the sweetest. Uh, I appreciate Marie Jervin and Playbook Media for even recognizing my work. 
you know, we, we grind so hard, especially as women in this industry. And it's, it's about time that we lift, lifted each other up. It's my first award, yes, and I felt amazing. I felt like, no, I've, I've, I've said this all night. I don't think I've ever been given an award before. I think it's very cool, and I appreciate people like you who read my work, watch my work. Um, it's, it's very cool. Woke is the latest thing that I've created as a pin that has been supported by um, lots of cool people from, you know, industry influencers and executives like Andre Harrell to, I don't know, who was the last person to, to wear my woke pin? Uh, Remy Ma, you know, big up to all those people. But the whole, you know, the reason to have this woke pin at this time, especially is the message is for us to all be woke. We're not asleep. We're a, we're awake to what is going on and you know you can wear it how you want Justified, what have you been up to I see you're woke and here today at the Marie Driven Awards what did you do in terms of this award activity? Well, it definitely helped to coordinate some of the guests and also talk to the, the venue. We have an awesome venue here, Caribbean Social. It's a sister restaurant for Suede, if you've ever been to Suede. Um, shout out to Chasen. He's doing an awesome job. I guess, again, awesome with Suede and just bringing that same energy to Caribbean Social. So we wanted to bring media people together to really just highlight them and make sure that they feel appreciated because a lot of the times we're looking at the artists and not necessarily looking at the people that are helping push them along. So we just wanted to take the time out to say thank you to those people and just let them know that they are appreciated and we see the work that they're doing. What most do you like about the work that you do? Well, I love being able to see a project from start to finish. That's my favorite thing. Um, and also trying to finish the impossible or what people may seem might be the impossible. Like working with an artist and like seeing a whole project through as far as radio, press, and bringing an event together is just the highlight of my life. You know, people usually say, do what you love and it won't feel like work. And that's definitely true to this case. Um, media is something that I love. Um, I've been doing it for a very long time. I started out actually, if you guys know Jamrock Magazine with Squeeze. I interned with him 10 years ago, so you know I've always been kind of in the media in some way and this is just my way to really take advantage of it and push forward. New York City Photo shoot -a -ton, the largest photo shoot -a -ton in New York City. Photographers, designers, models, ear stylists, bloggers, all under one roof for 24 hours. Creative photography and fun. This is a two-day event. Hey guys, you're watching Come Chat With Me and I'm your host in the field, Abisha Aaron, and we're here with Mr. Don, the man of the hour. My pleasure to meet you, sir. How are you doing Thank today? Thank you so much. I'm a little tired, but um, and spirit-wise, I am so overwhelmingly ready. Mm -hmm. You're full. Your spirit is full. You feel full. it. You're feeling the love and everything. Exactly. Okay, so tell us about this um, new NYC Shooter Don. The Shooter Don was created to bring together different talents and different genre, genres of talent mm -hmm. and put them all together in one atmosphere mm -hmm. and create portfolios for pennies on a dollar. I've heard, I was just speaking to someone and that was one of the things that they kind of highlighted about the, right. the NYC Shootathon is that you can get good pictures phenomenal photographers and for a little of a penny like you said so it's accurate this is coming from the man himself exactly. and um, tell us like how can someone get admission to NYC Shootathon how do you go about signing up signing up is the easy part mm -hmm. you have to have a talent to mm -hmm. get in the NYC Shootathon oh what I mean by that so many um, people who need different portfolios mm -hmm. diverse portfolios mm -hmm to get through and to their destination, mm -hmm. they can't afford it. Mm -hmm. So what I did was, I was able to create and put all of this together right. and make it affordable for them so they can have a portfolio in a day or in two days. Wow. A lot of people don't have the advantage to, to get pictures, like you said. Right. So the fact that they can come to the NYC Shootathon, get 
um, per a portfolio in less than two days. What we do, we put together 16 sets. It started off with four, then eight, then 10. Wow. Now we have to 16. Where do you see the future of NYC Shootathon going? Well, the Shootathon has taken it's taken its, its own ride now. It's like it's become so big. I mean, it's a very costly event, mm -hmm. and pretty much I have to finance it myself. So what we're doing now, we're going to get um, sponsor writers. We're going to get um, people that that has more knowledge, uh, much more knowledge about gaining this kind of uh, sponsorship than mm -hmm. I do. Right. We're going to bring them in, and they're going to help us create the larger and see the bigger picture. Wow. The bigger picture. We want to go to Germany in 2019. We have photographers come here from Germany. Wow. And they, 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 they saw this and they was flabbergasted about all of what went on. So what they, they want to do now, they want to take it overseas because of the concept is so powerful. The vision. Let me, let me be very clear. Without models, without makeup, without hair, a photographer pretty much will take pictures of landscape. <laughs> that would be boring, unless you were into like agriculture or something. I myself, I'm a hairdresser for 39 years. Mm -hmm. I'm a makeup artist for 25 oh, wow. years. And I'm a photographer for 15 years. Oh wow. That's what they call a triple threat. This is where the idea came from. Oh wow. I am able to do one model and complete her. And I said if I got people to stand in my place, then I can be and help them complete themselves. Mm -hmm. So that's how I came with the idea of the shootathon, putting these talents together. Doing so because I have such a strong background in all of them. Right. I know what's good, what's not good, how to highlight cheekbones, how to lipstick color, mm -hmm. eyebrow, eyelashes, put your hair, put your hair down, wear mm -hmm. it natural, shape it up, push, take it in, make your face taper, lighting, contour, creations, giving you all different types of looks and shadows and depths. That's a whole package. Mm -hmm. I'm not the only person right. with all these talents. We right. have individuals who master one of those talents. Right. I just was blessed to master all three. Right. That's where the idea came. So with the vision, your your expertise, the years of experience, you just put this all to life and um, NYC Shootathon was born. Right now, you don't know that in the kitchen time, no, no. All right, all so, right. one, what, what, what a spice today? What go on with the spice? Listen, man, may I change up the game a little bit? I'm go right now some appetizer. And right now, I'm mm. gonna do some coconut shrimp. I'm yeah. gonna serve it with a wonderful chipotle sauce, and it's gonna be so crazy because I'm gonna use it also one of my one of my brand that I like. Man, I look for a red stripe beer, yeah. but you are a red stripe beer in the there. So, yeah. I'm gonna go on with the Corona, and I'm gonna put right. it together, and it's gonna be so nice. Coconut shrimp in the kitchen, Ziggy Bless, don't get it twisted. In the kitchen. All right, guys, you're done know already. Like I said, we're going to be doing a coconut shrimp. Real simple, real easy. And this is something where if you're home and you want to do something different, you want to make something special for the lady. Or ladies, you want to make something for the guy working hard and he's coming home. This is something different from the typical Jamaican food. Change it up a little bit. So we're going to do some coconut shrimp, and the batter is going to be a beer batter. So the ingredients that you need, all the ingredients is online, but I have here the ingredients. You have your coconut, you have your liquid egg, you have your flour, and you have your 1620 PND. You have your Cajun season, your black pepper, garlic powder, Old Bay, paprika, and your salt. And you have your Corona. You can use any other beer that you wanna use. You can use Red Stripe, you can use Heineken, but I'm gonna go with a Corona, all right? Simple, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna make our batter, our beer batter, Real easy, you're gonna go with your flour. You're gonna put your flour in. I'm putting about probably two cups, two cups of flour. And now you're gonna go with your Cajun season because I wanna give it a nice flavor. All right, that's about a teaspoon of black pepper, another teaspoon. And we're gonna go with our salt, about a teaspoon too. And we're gonna go with our garlic powder another teaspoon, then we're gonna go with our Obey season, another teaspoon, and our paprika. All right, another teaspoon. Simple and easy. 
we're gonna mix this up real good mix them up real nice and then now we're gonna go with our beer you're gonna pour your beer in and you want to control the thickness of it so don't pour all the beer in at once you pour and you watch it as you go along and you pour a little bit more and you watch as you go along all right I can pour everything in and I'm still good nice you want a nice rich consistency kind of like this what you shoot it for let me add a little bit of water to it because not too much because you want the shrimp to be able to stick on him real good all right that's the consistency that you're shooting for another thing too that you can do you can take a little bit of flour and you can coat the shrimp that will help the batter to stick onto the shrimp a little bit more easier and now we're gonna take our batter bring it over here a little bit closer and now we're gonna dip the batter dip the shrimp inside the batter and we're gonna come right over to the coconut and just drop them dip come right over to the coconut and drop them see you want to shake it off a little bit because you don't want too much you don't want too much get on the shrimp take my coconut and I'm going to sprinkle my coconut over the shrimp I don't want to too much aggravate the shrimp so I'm not gonna like take them up and toss them over and do all of that I'm just gonna sprinkle the coconut over it again and make him real, look real good then I'm gonna take up the shrimp have my plate ready put them right here on the plate see looking real good and if you look you can see they're well coated well coated with a coconut and you can just imagine when you bite into these bad boy how juicy and flavorful they're gonna be I'm gonna drop my shrimp into it first you're gonna check to see how hot is the oil and you drop your shrimp in nicely and let them fry for probably about a minute and then you flip them over you flip them over on one side and you flip them over again nice you want to you don't want them you got to be careful you don't want them to color too fast so you just flip them over a little bit beautiful nice color see you get it a nice golden brown and that's what you're shooting for All right, guys, you see how simple that was, and you see how easy I put it together. Now we're down to the finishing, and you know this is what I like to do, the presentation. So I'm gonna make this presentation real simple, and I'm gonna go with my aged balsamic, and I'm just gonna do a twirl around, simple. Then I'm gonna go with my chipotle dipping sauce that's gonna be right in the middle, like this. And as you know me already, I'm all about flavor. I want things to have flavor. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of pepper flakes right in the middle of the chipotle. Keep him looking real sexy. And look at these shrimp. Look how pretty these bad boy look. Simple. I'm going to let it sit right inside the chipotle. I know what you're saying to yourself. You're like, oh my God, I can't wait till I bite into that. I'm keeping this simple and easy and classy. Then I'm going to finish them off with a little bit of dill. Just kind of drizzle right on the top of it. Just to make this presentation, give it that little final touch. And that's it right there. That's your coconut shrimp with your chipotle sauce and your aged balsamic reduction. Don't get it twisted. You're the inner of the kitchen. Meta and the Cornerstones. Fuse Afropop, hip-hop, rock and soul with an international mixture 
of vocals. Every day in the studio, every day the goal is making a exactly. new song and write at night in the subway and it's going very well. I'm excited about the new projects that we're working on, you know. So this time I feel like it's more like New York and the vibes in New York, the US. You know, that whole live music that is going on, the hip hop scene, everything. So yeah, I think next album is uh, going definitely to that direction. Yeah, you can look forward for great music and positive vibration, positive writing, upliftment, sharing the love, light, the beauty. You know, there is a lot of message out there, part of it is always uh, putting fear in people's mm -hmm. heart and we need also the other part to keep uplifting and, you know, projecting the light and that's what we do, you know, it's love and harmony, always. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. See you next week. Simply Kells.